at the office. My thinking is I can get here, knock out a few videos before things get a little more serious in New York because right now people are still pretty chill, which is shocking. I'm a big fan of social distance as much as you can. Luckily, I've had years and years of experience with this. Big fan of let's flatten the curve, guys. Let's do you, do you need to, do you need some? Okay, there you go. Flatten the curve. I would rather people say, oh my gosh, we overreacted. That was crazy. I'd rather people say that and we squash this thing. I've had the pleasure of building a career on the up, on only a bull market, right? So it's interesting how things are, uncertain for a lot of my friends. For me, luckily, YouTube already is a super unstable job, so I've learned to stash that cash away. But at the same time, yeah, a lot of travel things have been canceled. Big branded content deals uh, pushed to the side. The Olympics, that'll be interesting to see if that goes on. So what I'm trying to say is let's try to do what we can. We're gonna knock out a few videos here in the office with, with two people, maybe three, and then I'm just gonna go back to the apartment, hang out with John and not go outside. Does that sound good? And maybe we can laugh and smile together. And working from home, desk tours. 49 inch ultra wide display. People always ask me about this setup and an office tour, to be honest guys, there's still so much work to do, isn't gonna come anytime soon. So. This is a good way to break things down. So let's start over here. So in my apartment setup, I think these standouts are the beautiful laptop aluminum stand and then my mini mechanical keyboard. Those were definitely my favorites. But in that video, for the first time, I was getting the new Logitech MX Master 3. You guys make fun of me because I call it the Mix Master. So this is the old one, used it all the time. I was like, ooh, trying a new mouse. But I will say, after months and months of using this. It feels so good. The motions are so smooth. And on my iMac, a lot of people don't like to switch from the Magic Mouse because all of the motions were on top of the mouse. You know, swipe with two fingers, you change the different spaces you're in. But on here, you basically just hold this down and then swipe and it moves your space. Did you see that guys, ready? And it's just like having the horizontal scroll also in Premiere. And then pressing the thumb button does the app expose. Oh, I love this mouse. So that's a follow up from the last video. I love it. I approve of it. Sometimes there are issues with connectivity, but use that universal receiver. Put it as close as possible to you. If you see, this is where my receiver is now. It's in the, the front of this computer. And the main stars, of course, are the desks. These are sit-stand desks. Um, this is one of their bigger ones. We have a smaller one over there. These desks are fully desk, fully.com. Um, they've never formally like sponsored a video, but they hook a girl up and I finally got a affiliate links if you guys want to check it out. So it's really handy. You can have presets. Ah. And then you can just stand and work. And then of course I talk about it all the time. They are whiteboard desks. And you guys know I write notes everywhere. So having this is so handy dandy. I love it. And again, apologies. I've been so terrible at linking things in previous videos. So that big conference table that I've been filming pretty much everything at, it's the same company fully. I'll link it down in the description below. But of course, that's going to be a little bit more pricey because it's a very big desk. But I found that it is amazing for podcast meetings, all the things for filming, because very rarely if you're filming YouTube videos, if your main thing is come to an office and film, come to your home and film. Very rarely do I need a lounge section. I need like a desk to sit at, film, and be ready to go. So I'm a big fan of these. This is really the star, this guy. ultra wide and you guys see it in all of my content you're like what is that what is that and I feel like I've talked about it but I guess I've only done one video about it and it's the unboxing and people ask Sarah would you recommend it yes 
I love ultra wide. I mean, look at this luscious, beautiful premiere timeline. And I'm telling you the best part about it is you can just have infinite amounts of places to see footage and to see your assets. Like, are you kidding me right now? I mean, this is just, it's glorious, right? Now finding a monitor arm for this guy was tricky. I went through a couple, went through monies, several monies, but this one, this guy, the, Lock tech something something. I'll link it in the description below. I mean, this is just incredible. This is a heavy big boy and it can swivel. I mean, that's heavy duty, but it allows me to bring it back and bring it forward. Cause sometimes, you know, you just, you gotta get in it. You just really gotta get in it, right? These speakers, they are the Canto desktop speakers. So I have them here, I have them over there. I'm a big fan. This is the matte white finish. They look good. We got a stream deck, um, physical buttons. These are used for streamers a lot. And I'm a big fan just for basic things like this power button. It turns on this Elgato light. Oh my gosh, I love this light so much when I'm filming something like here. A lot of these different buttons control different scenes in OBS, so it's very easy to switch in between. But also, whenever you're live streaming and you wanna say something in the chat, you can set shortcuts to here to where, look, this, this T, if I press it once, it says, my podcast, new episodes on Mondays with the website. So you can basically add shortcuts for things that you would reply to people, remind people that, hey, I have a podcast and um, stuff like that. Super handy and the possibilities are really endless. This is a wireless charger where I can just drop my phone on here. Um, and this is a little mini clock that I just got from Amazon um, because I was so tired of being like, what time is it? And then going all the way down to this tiny little, oh, okay. Amazon mechanical keyboard, wired, I love it. And then here is some container storage that I'm just obsessed with, how it comes out like that. It's so fun, you know, I just got doohickeys, wires, washi tape, you always gotta have washi tape. And then I love them so much that I have three of them. And then over here, and then I forgot to mention the, the thing that drives this entire experience, the Main Gear F131 Custom with some peach and blue. Water-cooled, it's beautiful, and I love it. It goes like a champ. I love my iMac 5K at home, um, but sometimes when I'm editing 4K stuff, it's just almost there. And then I really never have any problems with this guy, I just don't. And if you're curious about how I organize my footage from here and also the apartment for you people who are maybe working at your apartment, working from home, but you still need access from another location. I made an entire video of how I organize my footage and use my Synology NAS, and I'll link that accordingly. Okay, over here is a basic setup. This is another LG monitor. Can you tell that I got lots of love for LG? It's just so crisp and clean. I appreciate, honestly, that there's no LG logo. It's bezel-less, it's 4K, and it's so simple because you plug in one thumb Thunderbolt 3 USB-C and you're good to go. If you have something like an Ultrabook or a 13 inch MacBook, the display is actually going to charge your laptop, which is so great. And this is definitely more of the working from home vibe. So we have the same desktop speakers here and then the very minimalistic monitor arm is just a clean setup all around. This Thunderbolt 3 dock is a lifesaver because I have everything already plugged in. I have ethernet plugged in here. I have a mouse, I have power. And with this, you get extra ports, you get USB-C, USB-A, a headphone jack, and a micro SD and a full SD. So this combo, makes every laptop a dream to turn into a desktop setup. I really feel like I'm on, what are the shows where they sell things? QVC. QVC, QVC. Call today and you'll get this Thunderbolt 3 dock for $3.99. And then the last thing, which I love so much and I think has actually made really cool background vibes. I love it. Pete texted me and said he hates it. So everyone go shame Peter McKinnon on Twitter for bullying me because of my nano leaves. I love the, look how cool this looks. Maybe it doesn't look good just straight on, 
But when you combine everything, you kind of just have it in the background of your videos going. And I have everything connected to the Apple Home app where I can control it to where when I leave this office, this turns off and my neon peach turns off because this has a smart home plug on it. And then when I'm 10 minutes out, both of these turn on. So they're just on and off automatically. Home automation, hello. And I think this is cool. Please leave a comment down below and tell me this is cool because they're actually kind of expensive. Okay, thanks for hanging out. I think I'm gonna just be putting out some quick videos because I know I joke about it, but it makes me feel good when I'm talking about or thinking about things other than world events. So thank you for hanging out with me. Maybe we can find a little bit of positivity from the working from home movement. Maybe we can get some stuff done. Okay. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. And if you need more content, my podcast, That Creative Life, I interview people like Marquez Brownlee, Hank Green. Oh my gosh, so many things. Links in the description below. So many links. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.